Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation involving log reading? From here, we can take 68 to this side and this becomes 27 raised to power log x plus 3 raised to power log x and minus 68 equals to 0 now. Then from here, we have log x comma here, so let a letter m be equal to log x then here this becomes 27 raised to power m plus 3 raised to power m minus 68 now equal to 0 then from here we can express 27 in base 3, that is 3 raised to power 3, then raised to power m, m plus 3 raised to power m, minus 68, now equal to 0 from here. Then, from here, we can also interchange this power from the law of indices, and we have 3 raised to power m, then raised to power 3 plus 3 raised to power m minus 68 now equals to 0 from here then we have 3 raised to power m common let's use a letter to represent that let y be equals to 3 raised to power m then this equation will become y raised to power 3 plus y minus 68 now equals to 0 from here then we can also write minus 68 as minus 64 minus 4 and this becomes y cube plus y minus 64 minus 4 now equals to 0 then what we have here 64 we can also write it as base 4 that's 4 raised to power 3 then we have y raised to power 3 plus y minus 4 raised to power 3 minus 4 now equals to 0 then let's group the power of 3 together so we have y raised to power 3 minus 4 raised to power 3 then plus y minus 4 now equals to 0 then we have difference of 2 cube here from a cube minus b cube equals to a minus b multiplied by a square plus ab plus b square then let's write this in that format then this becomes y minus 4 into bracket we have y square plus y times 4 that's 4y then plus 4 square that's 16 then we now have plus y minus 4 here now equals to 0 now from here we can put this in bracket and when we factor that out, which is 1 minus 4 now, into bracket, what is left here is y squared plus 4y, then plus 16, then we have, taking this out, we have plus 1, then equal to 0. This becomes y minus 4 multiplied by here we have y square plus 4y plus 17 now equals to 0 from here then what we have now we have two possible cases we have y minus 4 equals to 0 or we have y square plus 4y plus 17 equals to 0 then on this side we have 
y equals to 4 then let's check if there will be a resolution here using the discriminant b square minus 4 ac here and b here is 4 so we have 4 square minus 4 times a here is 1 then c here is 17 so here we have 4 square 4 times 4 is 16 then minus 4 times 1 times 17 we have 68 and uh, which give us minus 52 and this is less than 0 so when the discriminant is less than 0 we have no resolution from here so we have no resolution from here so the only solution here is y equals to 4 then we should recall that we represented y as 3 raised to power m then it implies that 3 raised to power m is now equal to 4. Now this follows when we have something of the form a raised to power x equals to b, which we can write as x equals to log b to base a. So now we can also transform this from index to logarithm, and here m will now be equal to log 4 to base 3 so what we have here now is m then we should recall that we represented m as log x when we started we represented m as log x so from here this implies that we have log x now to be equal to log 4 to base 3 then from here we have log x same thing as log x to base 10 so now this becomes log x to base 10 now equals to log 4 to base 3 now we can take you know base on both sides that is base of 10 on both sides then this will be 10 raised to power log x base 10 then equals to also here we have 10 raised to power log 4 base 3 then from when we have log when we have a raised to power log b to base a so here the same thing as b from the law of logarithm so when we use this here so what we have here will simply be hex and which is equals to here this will be 10 raised to power log 2 square that's 4 then to be 3 and then which will be x equals to these two from the law of logarithm can come to the back here and that will be 10 raised to power 2 log 2 base 3 and from here we can separate this and 10 squared there is 10 times 10 which is 100 so we can say from here we have x now equals to 100 raised to power log 2 base 3 so here we have the solution to this given problem as 100 raised to power log 2 to base 3 thank you for watching don't forget the steps subscribe to my channel and turn the notification bell on share this video give a thumbs up see you next class and bye for now